Um, great. Um, so it's a real honor to be here. Um, uh, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about our company and how we, we think we're revolu revolutionizing um, the experience in small business loans. Um, so I'm Samir Desai, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Funding Circle. Um, we um, started our business in the UK in 2010, um, and we've since expanded to the US, Germany, and the Netherlands. Um, we've originated um, over $5 billion of loans um, to thousands of businesses, uh, small businesses since we started. Um, and that comes from 70,000 uh, retail investors, um, but also increasingly a number of institutional investors. So um, people listed on the top left of their um, insurance companies like Aegon, um, funds um, like BlackRock, people like that. Um, and we've raised um, a, re a decent amount of money for our own business, about $330 million. Um, so we started Funding Circle um, for a number of reasons. We felt small businesses were very much being underserved by the, the banks. Um, and we felt there was a big disconnect between how much banks cared about small business lending. You know, it tended to be a small part of their business. Um, they tended to like stuff like credit cards, uh, corporate loans, mortgages, where they made a lot more money. Um, and society, where small businesses make up 60% of private sector employment, 50% of GDP. Um, so there was a real disconnect there. And this trend has just continued um, since, so, you know, I tried to come up with lots of different charts that basically show, regardless of the, ge the geography, um, even places like Germany where everyone expects there to be no credit gap, um, there is a big credit gap for small businesses. Um, and we think the platform model, which is the way we do it, um, is a much more efficient way of solving this problem than the banking system. So Funding Circle doesn't actually do loans ourselves. Um, what we do do is everything a bank does except the actual balance sheet or lending. Um, we originate the loans, we underwrite them, grade them, service them, collect on them. Um, and we make our money by taking a 1% servicing fee on the loans um, and an upfront fee of between uh, 1 and 6, uh, 6%. Um, and what that means is we have huge advantages over the banking system. We don't have the high regulatory capital requirements that they do. Um, we don't have all the legacy infrastructure, IT stuff, um, and we've, we've really been able to, to create a much better experience. So much so that 94% of businesses that borrow for, through us tell us they would always come back to us first for a loan in the future um, rather than go to the bank. Um, and if you stick to this kind of pure platform model, um, what that means is at scale, um, platforms have significantly higher return on equity than banks. So a typical bank uh, would make a return on equity nowadays in the low single digits. Um, what I compared us to here is uh, a bank, Lloyds Bank, Banking Group, the biggest bank in the UK. What they, a measure they use, which is return on required capital. So obviously the return on required capital of a, a platform um, is nearly over 300 times as big as a bank. And ultimately, if you're an intermediary in any sector, be it finance, be it Airbnb or Uber, you know, what you're trying to be is the most efficient intermediary. And return on equity, return on capital is the measure of your efficiency. So another way to think of platforms is we're much more efficient intermediators in the financial system than, than, the, bank, than the banks. Um, so I want to talk about the, some of the stuff that we're doing to really take it to another level. Um, you know, what we've been able to do is really aggregate and use data in ways that banks haven't been able to do or, or potentially might not be allowed to do um, across our business. So right from, the, right from the beginning in terms of targeting the borrowers, um, in terms of credit scoring, right through to which borrowers to contact, we're using advanced machine learning techniques, tools that we don't think banks are using. Um, and the, the most interesting thing with some of this stuff, and I was interested in the credit tech stuff before about machine learning and artificial intelligence, is I don't think banks are going to be allowed to use these tools and technology in the way that platforms are. You know, at the end of the day, banks are systemically important, and we have to stand behind them as taxpayers. Like, we all have to bail out these banks if things go wrong. How happy is society going to be, or regulators going to be, about banks using black box type techniques, true artificial intelligence, deep learning stuff, 
when ultimately at the end of the day we have to pick up the bill. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think actually a lot of that stuff is going to happen outside the banking system, the most advanced stuff, um, and that's really where, where we're expecting to have a huge advantage. Um, a lot of our stuff is really based around simplicity and focus. You know, we only do small business loans. We don't do anything else. We do pretty much the same product in all our geographies. Um, and we've really been able to simplify our entire interface and interaction with a small business to be able to deliver them um, an instant price um, from rates as low as 4.5%. Um, so it's relatively easy to kind of automate everything and give someone a very high interest rate loan. Um, but when you're actually playing at the super prime end of the market, especially in a market like small business, um, where things have, the data is very fragmented, it's very difficult to actually aggregate this stuff together. Um, what we've been able to do, I think, is really take that to another level way faster than 15 to 20 weeks you, you get at a bank. Um, there's a real virtuous funding circle in, in a lot of this. You know, as a platform, the more loans we do, the more data we get, the more ability we're able to build more sophisticated tools, credit, credit analytics, um, and really be able to price price the best borrowers at lower and lower rates. Um, and as a platform, because you're agnostic about that stuff, because you're trying to clear the market, really, um, you, you should be able to offer faster, better, cheaper loans to borrowers. Um, on the other side, um, what we've really tried to do, so we have 70,000 retail investors who lend through our platform across, all, across our different markets. We, we've really tried to simplify the experience to a level where um, investors don't have to choose, they don't have to worry too much about stuff, they can literally just choose their level of risk um, and the rest of it is, is pretty automated. And uh, it's a big thing I've learned actually doing this business is actually really what customers want is simplicity. Especially in an internet age, you just want to be able to get attractive stable returns, you want to get faster lower cost loan, you don't want all this gum in the middle to be sold lots of other things you don't need. Um, and another big part of this is actually brand as well. So uh, this, I took this from um, one of the UK, uh, different UK banks. Um, this is how they think about small business lending. The thing that struck me is they pretty much all look the same. You know, for banks, um, small business lending is obviously you know, a lady looking down to the bottom right of corner of a table. Um, these are all pretty indistinguishable. Lloyd's is a little bit different. So really what we've tried to do is really try and stand out, like talk to customers in a way that also is not just about the, you know, us, actually. Like a lot of small businesses get frustrated that bank brands are actually all about the bank. They're not about the customer. Um, so you know, we've been doing a lot of um, high-profile advertising in the UK. We're rolling it out to other markets, like actually trying to really differentiate from, um, from, from these players. Um, so our vision um, is pretty much what it's been for a while. We want to originate $100 billion of new loans a year. Um, we think we can create 3 million new jobs a year from that. Um, that's about 33 times as big as we are today. So, um, you know, long way to go, but we've come a long way in the past um, seven or seven or eight years. Really built around these tenets of the business that I talked about, you know, low cost, capital light model, being a platform, um, delivering vastly superior customer experience, um, being global, you know, we're in four markets, we have aspirations to be many more, and the whole thing really based around cutting edge data and analytics. Um, so, thanks for listening, that was my presentation.